All right, folks, uh, we're just going to give you a couple of other exercise options there now because we know you can't come into class, but you're probably concerned about like losing some like of the gains that you've made over the last number of months. So this is just a way to kind of keep yourself ticking over nicely at home. Uh, if you need bands, resistant bands, give us a call uh, or call up to the clinic and we'll give them out to you, no problem. And uh, we have loads of them here, so we have the, the longer bands in these, so they help give you a bit of resistance to challenge the system, you know. But what we'll do is we'll start off with um, some sitting, sit the stands in and out of the chair, so like you can go put your hands back if you want to, you can put your hands on your knee if you want to, or you can put your hands out in front, okay? So you're just doing that sit to stand in and out of the chair and getting that movement going, all right? The one thing I'd make sure that you're doing is that you're safe when you're doing these exercises, i.e. if you've got any balance issues that you're beside a wall, you're at the back of the couch, or at the worktop in the kitchen, somewhere solid that's not going to go if you do lose your balance, all right? So then we start off doing a bit of marching on the spot. Okay, now march on the spot again. If you're very unsure of yourself, back yourself into a corner and march on the spot here, okay? And work away and do that stuff. All of these movements, just start off with maybe doing 10 to 12 repetitions at the start. Warm yourself up into these things, is that all right? Just like we do in class. Then what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of upper body exercise, some arm strength. So we do curling up and down. So you can use light, light weights at home if you happen to have them. Bottles of water are fine. A litre bottle or two and you can go curl and press up and down like that. Okay. So you get a little bit of upper body strength and going on there, is that all right? Um, with the same weights or with shopping bags, you can do the carrying the shopping as we do it in the class as well. So you're up and down, carrying your weight up and down the hallway or over and back across the kitchen, all right? So you're over and back, carrying that weight, putting a bit of stress on the system. That's all good, okay? So we, we, it's all about putting a nice exercise load on the system and, and keeping things uh, going in the right direction. Next thing, we use the bands quite a bit, the resistance bands, so you can, you can do pull-aparts like that just to kind of get that mid-back area working because we know a lot of people do, they like doing the rowing for the posture, for their neck, if it's a bit stiff, this is a very nice exercise to do, okay? Or in fact, what you can do is you can sit down, hook it around your toes and you can do the row action like that with the band, okay? So a green band is a little bit light, Blue is a bit heavier, okay? So you do that rowing action. If you want to make it harder, you grab two pieces at the one side and you row on the one side, or you swap it on the other side, okay? And everyone's gonna be asking, how many times do you do it? Like in the class, 10 to 12 repetitions. Take a little breather for a while and repeat three rounds, okay? So you're, you're taking your time going through these exercises with a bit of resistance, okay? Um, other ones that we can do then as well are um, <clears throat> the balance exercises in the corner. So again, always making sure safety is number one thing. So you're standing in the corner, single leg balance work, and you're feeling stable on your balance. Is that all right? I'll just come back and close the camera. So if you're feeling unsteady, you stay in the corner. If not, you're just gonna be at the back of the couch or at the kitchen sink, whatever, doing your balance training like that, okay? Standing on one leg. Okay, up and down. If that's too easy and boring for you, you can do a little bit of a clock step. So 12 o'clock being straight out in front, one o'clock over here, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And as you can see, I'm stepping out with my left or I'm stepping across with my right. Is that right? This is much easier than that. So just be careful again. If these are new movements for you, make sure you're doing them in the corner or with something solid beside you, okay? And you're equally gonna to step to the back behind you, but without looking. You're gonna keep facing forward, but reaching back to back corners, is that all right? So that's your balance type of routine. We call that the step, clock step, which is a very nice way to take all the boxes there and that. Um, if you want a little bit more advanced exercise for the legs, you can use the, the bottom step of your stairs or the mantelpiece if it's a bit lower like this one, but you can just do your step ups and down, all right? So 
So that's, I'm stepping up on one and I'm coming back down on the same one. Or you can go up and down and swap it side to side. Now it's up to yourself what way you want to work it. You're just stepping up and down off the box. So you're getting a little bit of that strength in the legs, balance and so on. So there's a nice couple of exercises that you can do there. Um, tipping away. Uh, the last one I suppose is, the, as we said, we did the band pull apart, so the row as well, people like doing the row, we did it in sitting, but if you want to do it in, uh, in standing, you can do a bent over row like that, up and down as well, okay? So a lot of people do like doing the bent over row stuff, and a lot of people like doing the band pull apart this way, okay? For the rotator cuff issues that are a bit grumbly and stuff like that. So all these exercises are beneficial, just there's some ideas for you to keep yourself taking over and please give us a shout if you need any more advice or videos. We'd be delighted to help out during this, this period of time. All right?